guys, my name is Miranda and this week I am going to do a list of people that I hate. And it's not a list of actual people, it's a groups of people that I hate. And I just want to say that it's not actually a video that I came up on my own. I've seen a whole bunch of YouTubers do it. So I figured I was going to do a video just like it because I thought it was funny. And it's not like... Oh my god, I hate when I hold the door for people and they're rude and they don't say thank you. Or, oh my god, I hate closed-minded people. And, oh my god, I hate when people don't take care of their kids in a restaurant because they're rude little shits. It's because everybody hates that. I really think that's just general. This is just me and my thoughts on individual groups of people that I personally do not like. My first thing is people who vape. If you vape to quit smoking, that's fine. But, but also I hate when you walk out of a restaurant and you just get hit with the smell of like watermelon and pineapple and you're like, oh my God, what is that? And you get hit with a puff of cloud and you get some guy with a snap back in his pants around his ankles and he's in the corner going <coughs> with his thing box that's this big and he's puffing on his vape. I'm sorry. No thank you. I don't like it. It's not attractive. It's or they come up with weird weird names for the juices for it. It's like this one's dragon breath. Dragon breath? Where did you come up with that one? What is dragon breath? Uh, and it's like, oh, it's a mix of bananas, Captain Crunch, ice cream, and just a tad of lemon juice. Like what? Where will take your dragon breath and don't vape it where I'm gonna walk into a cloud of your smoke. It's called Fireball. It's called Fireball? Why? Because it tastes like cinnamon? Clever! Ah! Ah! Clever! I can't stand people who don't know your and your. Do not take English in fourth grade. Your. Yours. You are. Y O U R. Y O U apostrophe R E. There. Over there. T H E R E. T H E I R. That's theirs. T H. E Y apostrophe R E. They are really. Did you not take basic English in third grade? Really? How do you not know the symbol basics of English? It annoys me so much. I don't understand. I am a big concert goer. A big concert goer. So I also spend a lot of money to get pit seats and get in the front, like where the barrier is and the bouncers. So I can't stand when people try and cut and get to the front. I have gotten into multiple fights in the pit where people try and cut me. So I can't stand when people pull the, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, my friend's up there, my friend's up there. First couple concerts I went to, I fell for it. Until I realized, oh, your friend is not up there. So anybody who's watching, learn that lesson. Their friend is not up there. They're lying because they're concert cutters. I hate it. No, no. Don't be a concert cutter. If you want to be first in line, be there early. Get online and wait like the, everybody else because it's not fair. 
Okay, because I was there at 6 a.m. and just because you wanted to show up at 12 doesn't make it all right. <laughs> I can't stand is when I go to get a tattoo and somebody says, you really want to get that? That's going to be on your body forever. Really? Really? I'd show you the other two, but I would have to take off my clothes. Really? Really? I put them on my body for a reason, Susan. Really? They're on me for a reason. I did not spend all of the money that I did for it to come off in a year. I didn't sit and let somebody put a needle in my arm and deal with the pain for no reason. I didn't sit and decide what I wanted to ink on my body for the rest of my life for no reason. I know it's on me forever. So I don't need something. Um, you might regret that when you're older. No, I'm not. Thank you for your information, but that's for me to deal with in years to come. So back up. It, this tattoo has so much meaning to me. So much meaning to me. So when you want to know what, when I'm 50 and somebody looks at me and goes, oh, what does that tattoo mean? I will be able to give you a reason. So when I look down at my arm when I'm 50, I'll be like, you know what, that helped me so much when I was 25 years old. That got me through such a rough spot. Or the tattoo that's on my shoulder, you know what? I got that tattoo when I was 15. <laughs> I got them really young. This is probably my favorite one. The one on my shoulder. And then this one. Okay? People who ask questions while you're watching a movie. Why are you asking me? Why? Let's watch and find out together, shall we? Why are you asking me? Let's watch the movie together. Don't ask me questions. Or when people hold a conversation in a doorway and you have to be like, mm, excuse me, excuse me, like, and they're like, oh yeah, did you hear what happened to John last week? Yeah, poor guy. Yeah, he's in the hospital. He broke his left leg and you're like, I, I need to get, excuse me. And you have like a coffee in your hand and you're trying to get through. And now you're like, what happened to John? Is John okay with his leg? I know you feel emotionally connected in this conversation. Meanwhile, all you wanted was your Starbucks. Like, it's so annoying. You know what else I hate? People who chew gum like this. Uh-huh, yeah. Did you hear about that? I know. Who chews gum like that? And then you have to hold the conversation. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I know, right? Mm -hmm. You heard that story, too? Are you a, are you a cow? Cows chew like that. Um, close your mouth. It's disgusting. <sighs> that was my rant. I don't know how many that was, but those are just a few things that I hate. If there's any more or anything you agree with, comment, let me know, like, subscribe, I'm gonna put. Okay. See you next week. Bye.